Hello everyone, it's me Rise, and I'm back with a three-part series for Otherverse. The first part, the one you're watching right now, is meant to give you a background on what to expect of the Otherverse, and answers a lot of common newbie questions. I also talk about team synchronization because in my personal opinion, I find that extremely important. The second part will cover all the dungeons in Otherverse 2, and the last part will cover all the dungeons in Otherverse 3. The second part will be out within one or two days of this video being uploaded, while the third part will be out next week. Now I won't lie to you, a lot of what I'll be covering in this three part series is the many means in which you can cheese the other verse. Skipping gimmick, shorting your clear time, tactics for every room, etc. And some of what I cover will require a lot of synchronization with your team, so many of the tactics just can't be done in random parties. But just so I'm clear, this guide will be helpful even if you are doing random parties, but to get the most out of it, having a predefined party is a must. So without further ado, let's begin. First section, common questions and answers. Question number one, what exactly is the Otherverse and why is everyone excited about it? Otherverse is a special area and you can access it by going to the Saint Horn channel. The Otherverse is exciting because it's the first endgame content Neopole has released in DFO Global. The gear OV drops is some of the best gear in the game in fact. For difficulty enthusiasts like me, Otherverse also provides an interesting twist on the normal DFO content. There are gimmicks in nearly every room, and bypassing the gimmicks or even understanding them requires practice and the willingness to learn about them. This means you can't just go into OV without any prior knowledge and hope to get away unscathed. You will die, and the feeling of finally being able to do the challenging content easily is really appealing to a lot of people. Honestly, it's just pure fun. Before I move on to the next question, you should also be aware that Otherverse has 6 dungeons, and each dungeon has an entry limit of 2 per day. You can refresh your limit via the cash shop if you wish but it is rather expensive. The minimum level of entry for the other verse is also level 70. Question number 2. What is Exorcism? Exorcism is a special stat that is required to enter the other verse. Currently due to the other verse event, the easy difficulty does not require any exorcism, but normally it would require 5. To enter the medium difficulty you need 40 exorcism and to enter hard you need 90. Well, that's not really true. You can enter any difficulty without the required amount of exorcism, but your stats and health and mana will be lowered tremendously. Having more than the required amount, on the other hand, will increase your stats. There are several ways to increase your exorcism, but the most common is through equipping Chronicle gear. You can also use an exorcism potion or equip titles that give exorcism stats. Question number 3. What do you mean when you say Otherverse 2 and Otherverse 3? Otherverse 2 and Otherverse 3 are referring to different dungeons. In Otherverse 2 you have 3 dungeons and in Otherverse 3 you have another 3. The reason for the difference is that Chronicle 2 gear only drops in Otherverse 2, while Chronicle 3 gear only drops in Otherverse 3. Question number 4. Since Chronicle gear only drops in Otherverse 3, is there any point of running Otherverse 2 dungeons? Making the assumption that the higher numbered gear is better than the lower numbered gear is a common mistake made by newbies. In other games this might be the case, but it's not so in DFO. Some Chronicle 2 gear sets are actually better than Chronicle 3 gear. It highly depends on the skills, the effect, and the playstyle you are gunning for. There's also the fact that you only have 2 tries per day for each dungeon, so you might as well play all of them. Unless you are leveling to 85, it does not make much sense to conserve fatigue. If you're curious, doing every single dungeon in Otherverse twice requires around 70 FP. Question number 5. What exactly is Chronicle Gear? Chronicle Gear is explained in more detail in the second section, but to give a brief overview, just know that Chronicle Gear is viable even at the 85 cap due to their many interesting effects. Question number 6. I heard I need a party for Otherverse. Is this true? Yes, this is true unless you want to just play easy mode the entire time. You can do so, but know that set pieces only drop on hard or ultimate. Question number 7. Since set pieces drop on hard or ultimate, should I run on ultimate for a higher drop rate? No, 
please do not run other burst on ultimate. Save yourself the pain. The drop rate is already really high for Chronicle Gear, so making it a tiny bit higher won't do you any good. Question number 8. What about the other burst quests? Can I ignore them? Do not ignore other burst quests. Spend the first day of your other burst experience finishing up all the quests, then start to party. The quests can only be done on easy mode, so you should definitely sacrifice some time to finish them up. The reason for this is because of the feat quests you get. You can only start doing the feat quests upon completing the epic Otherverse quests. And the feat quest gives you 2 free Chronicle 2 and 3 set pieces, so it's really important to unlock them. That's 4 free pieces. Question number 9. Before playing the Otherverse, do I need to be geared? Isn't the Otherverse difficult otherwise? Somewhat. Gear is important, but not to an extreme extent. As long as you have a plus 10 weapon and have a full magic sealed equipment appropriate for your level and with the right modifiers, you should be good to go. If you are a pure fixed class, you can even skip out on the plus 10 weapon, but try and get a refined 2 or 3 at least. To put it simply, you'll only need to spend a few million in order to start playing Otherverse. Question number 10. Is XX class viable in OV? All classes are viable in OV. There are some classes that will have more difficulties than others, but every class can manage to play their part. One example of a class that might have trouble in OV is Summoners. Some rooms require not hitting the enemies for a set period of time, so you would need to de-summon or somehow prevent your summons from attacking in that room. Question number 11. How long does running the entire Otherverse take? Depends. The fastest my team can manage it is around 1 hour and I'm going to guess some people can do it faster than us. But that's after you get the other verse done this down extremely well, so expect 2 or more hours if you're a newbie. Second section, Chronicle Gear. Chronicle Gear as I mentioned before is the end game gear dropped quite often in the other verse. There are truly only 3 types of Chronicle Gear and I'll cover each one in this section. The first type of Chronicle Gear is what I like to call Static Chronicle Gear. They aren't actually called that, but doing so should give you a picture of what they're about. Static Chronicle Gear is dropped quite often, and they give a stat boost to a skill of a particular class. So you might see in one dungeon a gear piece drop that gives 5% extra damage to a skill you don't have. The chances of that happening is quite high actually because there are a ton of classes in the game and each class has a ton of skills, so getting the skill you want for the class you want is really difficult. Hell, I'd wager getting a full 9 pieces of Chronicle Gear set is actually easier than getting a full 9 pieces of a static piece with skills and boosts you actually want. The second type of Chronicle Gear is what I like to call Dynamic Chronicle Gear. Neopol calls them either Tainted or Cracked Chronicle Gear. The cool thing about these gears is that you can actually pick and choose what stat you want or what skill you want. All you need are auras, which drop periodically in the other verse. Red aura increases the strength of a skill, blue reduces cooldown, and green gives some sort of special effect. Your short term goal is to immediately get a full set of dynamic chronicle gear for the exorcism and the skill boost. It should only take you about 2 or 3 weeks. A question I get a lot is what the actual difference is between Tainted and Cracked Chronicle Gear. There actually isn't one. It's just a translation difference between Nexon and Neopol. Nexon had originally called Dynamic Gear Tainted, while Neopol calls them Cracked. It's the same thing, but you'll notice that all the older classes have Tainted, while the newer classes like Female Slayer and Knights have Cracked. And finally, Set Pieces. The set pieces are actually why Otherverse 2 and 3 are labeled differently. There's set pieces for Otherverse 2 and there's set pieces for Otherverse 3. The ones that drop in Otherverse 2 are known as Chronicle 2 sets, while the other ones are known as Chronicle 3 sets. As you can see on the screen right now, alone these pieces aren't a big deal, but together they make a huge difference. With 3, 6, or 9 pieces, you get bonuses, and those bonuses affect your gameplay dramatically. There's set effects that dramatically reduce the cooldown of some skills, for example, and there might even be ones that change how a skill is played entirely. It's really cool, and while I would love to go over every single set effect, it would seriously take me over an hour, so I'll leave a link down below if you're curious about sets your class has. Endgame you want to get set pieces for your class. Depending on your needs, you might want 3, 6, or even 9 pieces in order to get the set bonuses. 
To get a full set, you normally need to grind other bursts for about 2 or 3 months, and you can even grind for 4 months if you want 2 full sets. Before I go on to the next section, I need to go over one last crucial detail and that is Otherverse Dimensional Fragments. By farming enough of these, you are able to buy set pieces from a vendor. You can get around 15 Otherverse Fragments per day, just from grinding normally, or you can stockpile them by aura breaking Dynamic Chronicle gear. Yes, there is such a thing as aura breaking, similar to reinforcement breaking. You are able to apply up to 2 auras on a dynamic gear piece, and the chance of dynamic gear piece breaking on the second aura is really quite high. Upon breaking, you will get a dimensional fragment. However, if you reinforce your gear pieces, you will get more fragments after breaking them. I can't find the user on Reddit, but someone mentioned that the most bang for your buck would be a plus 5 in aura breaking them for dimensional fragments. It will shorten the time you need to grind by quite a lot. Final side note of this section. You can actually break your dynamic pieces with the first aura. The chest is really low, but there is still a chance, so be careful. Third section, Team Synchronization. This section is heavily opinion based, but I highly recommend you try and get a team of friends to challenge Otherverse every day. Joining a guild is probably the easiest way to set up a regular Otherverse grind with people you know. I'm not advocating that friendship makes it easier to the Otherverse or anything subjective like that. The reason why I want you to do this is because accomplishing some of the more difficult tactics in Otherverse requires a lot of precision and coordination. Basically synchronization. Doing this with Pugs is much more difficult than doing this with people you party with every day. It takes time to learn how your teammates play and how to adjust accordingly in order to pull out some of the more difficult tactics I will be talking about. If you can't or won't, that's okay too. Just know that Otherverse will take longer to complete. Just to give a brief demonstration so you know what I'm talking about, let's talk about our room in Darkseid really quickly. In this room, the boss is rather tricky. Normally what happens is that she goes in a coma-like state and you need to hit her repeatedly before she comes out. Then she produces red circles above her head. The more you hit her while she's in this coma state, the less circles she'll have. Killing her is near impossible while she has the red circles, so now you need to run around trying to get rid of those circles, then kill her. If you don't do it fast enough, she goes back into her coma state, producing a new set of red circles. Sounds annoying, wouldn't you say? Well, with the right coordination with your team, you can have one teammate do some sort of stun lock as soon as you enter the room, then she'll skip her coma state. My friend Kaizen, the witch, has that role. Then while she's trying to attack you, teleporting everywhere, you need to have another member launch her into the air, which is only doable while she's jumping up into the air in the first place. While she's in the air, you will need to with your entire team keep her afloat using constant juggles, because as soon as she lands, it'll be tricky getting her up there again. Ashuras are really valuable here because they can keep her more afloat with a variety of skills. That's when you kill her as you can see on the screen right now. As you can probably tell, pulling this off will be near impossible with the pug group. It requires coordination, precision, and just general trust in your teammates to be able to pull it off. Before I end the first part, I'll briefly talk about roles in the Otherverse. To be successful in the Otherverse, I highly recommend you get one DPS user, one support user, and one utility user. The utility class will be like a witch providing holds and stuns. The support user will be like a soul bender providing debuffs and buffs. And a DPS user will be like an Ashura or a Chaos providing raw damage. That's exactly how my personal Otherverse team is set up, and trust me when I say, it'll make your Otherverse life much easier. Anyway, that's all for now. Next I'll talk about the first three dungeons, aka Otherverse 2, which should be coming up really soon. So see you then. But before I leave, wanna sub? You'll find it delicious, I guarantee it.